Yeah, I, I, absolutely. It sounds like we're we're in very early days now. Um, I I guess now to address I, I, potentially the elephant in in the room, but but maybe not, which is standardization, and, and lots of people have, uh, have have asked various questions on, on that. And actually, I'm going to point to Katerina Vasilenko's point, which is uh, you know anyone who's watched Sea Spiracy or Cow Spiracy investigative documentaries on Netflix. The conclusion of, 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 of that is actually a lot of these labels around various standards aren't actually true and, and you know, it's, it's a profit engineered or organization that's potentially funded by, by, the, uh, by, by the suppliers of, of various food, foods and goods anyway. Um, so in terms of standardization, and, and Joe, I'm going to pass this one on to you, where are we at with defining taxonomy, mapping various standards, et cetera, and sustainable trade finance, and, and what's, what's left to do? Thanks, Tipesh. Um, Joe, I think, was it for me or was it for, for it's, Joe? It's for, it's, it's, for, it's for both of you. Kat Katerina, why don't you get started and, and Joe, you can, you can follow if that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Um, you know, uh, of course, um, as I said, um, we try not to invent, you know, the, the life again, just to leverage on what is existing. And of course, um, when we look a little bit back um, in the previous times, you had this, this discussion on, you know, leveraging the counterpart. So if the counterpart is a rating, a green one, or it's G1, then you can live of that. And we decided that we will not follow the route. And as experience showed last year, um, in particular, also public authorities, they also said, okay, let's go on the underlying, let's go on the, the use of proceeds, which is exactly where we do see the point. You know, it doesn't make sense that the counterparty has a rating when the underlying is not, I don't know, ESG relevant. Um, however, where, you know, where we stand right now um, is you need to find the right and pragmatic compromise. And the, I've seen some of the questions in the chat um, how to define or to find the right definitions in order not to overdo the administration effort. You know, when we want to be precise, in particular, when we look on the underlying, you potentially have to ask 50 questions. And there is one of the questionnaires of the ICC has been implemented in the SWIFT KYC registry, which is actually addressing part of the information we need also to get in order to understand the underlying of the business model, but also how the company is dealing with their supply chain. And, and there is, of course, the problem, which label do you trust? But let's be pragmatic here. Bankers are not technicians, you know, and we need to stick to what we can do. So where we are good in and leave, please, the technical questions to much better equipped scientists, for example. So that we need to have a, somehow a, a pool of labels where we can trust on. And there is even a mapping already existing, which has been done in Europe on a couple of labels, how trustworthy they are, how transparent they are, how, how objective they are. And there is a kind of reference what you can use. And of course, there are a couple of others where we need to focus on, but we will never address each and every item because if we do, we simply overdo the exercise. We put too much burden in particular on the small suppliers and let's do not forget the SME element, which is a large part in the S and ESG. Joe, your turn. Thank you. Uh, well, I, I, I think you, you, you have summarized it perfectly well already. So um, maybe just one, one point I want to just highlight in what you said in particular, Katarina, because I think it is so important, is really the, the main challenge here when it comes to taxonomy. And what, what do we mean when we say taxonomy? I mean, what, we, what we're saying is we, we are aiming to create a uniform and harmonized classification system, right? That is what taxonomy is. And, uh, so Rupert was highlighting before the, some of the work, for example, that the EU is doing around this at the moment in terms of sustainable finance, not just trade finance, but sustainable finance as a whole. The, the main challenge, I think, in taxonomy will always be, uh, as Katarina has said, and I just want to highlight that one more again, um, to find a compromise between what is scientifically robust, but also what is still sort of like doable and practical. Um, and for that, we need, um, we need data. And again, this is, this is a point that Svarup highlighted. 
I think that also brings us back to a point there I've seen in, in, in the chat um, where I think there is a, there is a, there is a controversial views around some people saying we really need to have one definition and panel, please give us one definition. Whereas other people are saying, please, let's not start defining stuff because um, we will uh, we will get ourselves tied up in knots. And I think, again, the, 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 the right answer probably has to be a middle ground about which we want to find that middle ground that actually makes trade accessible for other investors that might not be um, generally trade finance investors, which is exactly where, again, I'd say um, the capital markets, yeah, they are, they are way ahead. Um, it certainly comes, a lot of it comes down to the complexity of trade finance products. Um, so we, of course, we have the green loan principles and a lot of other um, sort of like standards in the capital markets and that make it easier for investors to access these asset classes. Um, but um, again, I'd say there, there has to be a middle ground between, yeah, finding taxonomy, as you say, Deepesh, um, but at the same time, not making it too overly complex because as Katarina is saying, it becomes particularly unachievable then for the, uh, for the SME side, which are, uh, which are a large part of the, of the S in ESG. Um, certainly technology can help there over time. And there are a lot of FinTechs looking into that. Um, so hopefully there's also gonna be scope for development in, in that field. Thank you very, very much, Joe. And uh, you know, ap apologies to all of you for fielding such difficult questions. The uh, the chat is 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 uh, very opinionated, which I think is good because we don't have all of the answers. <laughs>